Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Storm Team 2 meteorologist Arielle Hooley. As we head into the peak of hurricane season, something you might be hearing a lot about weather models or computer models. You might be wondering, what are they? And how do we use them to better forecast for you at home? And of course, which one should you trust? Well, I have all those answers for you coming up. Let's start off with what is a computer model? First, all across the country, there are weather stations that release weather balloons at the exact same time twice a day. All that data is compiled into what's called a model grid, and then it's inputted into a different model equation. There's over 100 models all across the world, and each equation is a little different than somebody else's equation. So we get over 100 different outputs of the potential track of a storm. We as meteorologists have to step in and look at all of this information and make an educated guess on what's going to happen. An easy way to think about what a model is, is a chemical reaction. The model is the scientist combining different things. So you're starting off with the current weather and you're going to add different ingredients at different rates and you have to predict the possible outcome. Sounds pretty tough, right? Well, that's why we look at so many different models. Again, there's over 100. And here are a few that you might hear us talk about at Storm Team 2. The Euro, or the European model. The GFS, the Global Forecasting System. NAM, the North American model. CLIMO, the Climatology model. Now, again, there's over 100 models. Each one has its strengths, and each one has its weaknesses. No model is right 100% of the time which is why meteorologists need to step in and look at all the different information and help make a decision on your forecast. So when you see all of those posts on social media, this model run says this, or I saw this, don't look at that as a forecast. Make sure you tune in with your local meteorologists, especially us here at Storm Team 2, because we'll keep you updated on what's going on and what we really think is gonna happen. We'll definitely keep you guys safe during hurricane season. So I thought I'd show you guys some of the different ways we might show you modeling in your forecast. So here's one, the spaghetti plot. This is one you guys see a lot of when we head into hurricane season. You can see each model has its own color and each model has its own abbreviation. Each has a different output on what they think is going to happen. Another way we might show you guys some models this one specifically is the GFS, or the Global Forecasting System. This is going to show you the possible precipitation. Just like on your radar, the warmer the colors, the heavier the rain. And you can see this particular forecast is for Florence, and it is going to continue to strengthen as it moves into the Atlantic. This specific model does have it turning. Now, we know a lot of people are talking about whether Florence is going to hit the South Carolina coast. And as a meteorologist, I can tell you, it is way too soon to tell. Models are just like forecasts. They can be adjusted at any time and they can change in an instant. So again, make sure to stay with Storm Team 2. We'll keep you updated on whatever's going on 